a mix of traditions, Christian and Cree, as the Archbishop of Canterbury faces survivors. That is the tragedy of the residential schools. The mystery of no one objecting. The mystery of no one saying, this is outrageous. He acknowledged their pain and suffering. That's a blessing back for our people and for everyone. Hubert Sanderson attended the Anglican-run Gordon's Indian Residential School, where 14 possible unmarked grave sites were recently discovered. What we went through was... I'm glad he came down. The Anglican Church of Canada apologized twice to survivors, but this is the first time for the Church of England. I am here today with a heart filled with a sense of darkness, of shame and sadness, to acknowledge the hurt done to your people, to apologize for the damage caused to your communities. For some, those words bring healing. For others, mere words are not enough. If the Archbishop of Canterbury is here simply to provide an apology and then to go back to England, then he might as well have stayed home. There was some progress. Survivor Patricia Ballantine says she got the Archbishop's support to rescind Christian decrees known as the Doctrine of Discovery. They claimed the new world was empty and cleared the way for colonization. I was happy. My heart was just like, oh, he heard me. Valentine says she'd also like to see more financial support for survivors, in addition to $15 million already paid, but this was a good start. I felt very optimistic that this is going to start getting the process moving to true reconciliation. And Olivia, you've been on this story through the weekend. Tell us what the Archbishop of Canterbury says he plans to do from here. Well, Ian, Justin Welby says he doesn't want to overpromise and underdeliver. So aside from indicating his support for revoking the doctrine of discovery and offering an apology to residential school survivors, he hasn't announced anything. He says work on reconciliation moving forward will be led by the Anglican Church of Canada under the direction of survivors, and the church will decide how to offer more support at its worldwide conference of bishops in the UK this summer. Olivia Stefanovic in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Thank you.